The late posting hot Sunday video. <laughs> Hello and welcome to my channel, UNT151. My name's Joe. My channel is about sci fi, military sci fi, and space opera, books and audiobooks, and other interests. The Sunday video is about what I'm doing with my channel, a few little updates, just a bit of fun, really. Nothing too stressful. Please subscribe, like, and comment. I've got some more lights. You can't see them, but they are there. They're, they're actually. They're like this big, they're <laughs> much bigger than I thought actually. It's kind of, this room feels like a sort of like a proper set, like I've got my lights, I've got a mic, I've got the phone in a ring light, I've got a little tablet there with like this little screen of information, I've got my me, <laughs> me green screen which is going to sound pretty behind me I'm sure. Yeah, <laughs> it's quite cool really, like I'm, I'm not in a movie set or anything like that, but it feels like I'm in like a proper like studio, in a, it's quite fun actually, in a in a good way, but you know, it's quite good, I like it. But the dilemma is now, this room is not big enough. I'm not even going to show you, but I've got like washing machines there, tumble dryer, I've got a load of my carpentry tools, and other storage rubbish there. This room looks pretty like this, it's not, it's, it's not even been plastered. I built this, extended on my house and place and stuff, and I've built built the room, haven't been able to get a plaster, I've got no plaster, well can now, but uh, yeah, I might have to um, build a separate building or something, might have to, I don't know, like, I've got a few little projects I want to do and something, so I might have to like, make a nice set room with some good stuff, basically, I'm going to get to that in a little while actually. My last two videos seem to be well received, so I'm going to stick to that format, I'm going to do one video a week, one book a week, and I'll just keep a spoiler review, number of spoiler review, probably drop one mon Monday, Tuesday, or Tuesday, Wednesday. I might try Tuesday, Wednesday this week, just this comes out today, Sunday, nothing Monday, then do a Tuesday and Wednesday. I'll drop early hours of the UK time to whatever, but I think, I think that's what I'll do. So I'll definitely do three videos, even though one's the same, just a spoiler, non-spoiler. So you definitely get two set two videos, but a third one if you want to look at spoiler, non-spoiler, whatever. That's definitely what I'm going to keep doing. I think that's working for the channel. I, I, it seems to be working. People comment and view it and stuff, so it seems to be okay. I tell you something I have been like struggling with is like when when I read, for example, I'm reading this at the moment, and I can add little sticky things and stuff and. It's handy because I just flick back to it. Okay, that's the name. Oh, this is actually just quick glance and stuff. But when I'm um, when you're doing audio books, it's a right pain because you, you're listening, you're listening, you're doing whatever you're doing. It goes on and on and on and on, and you can't really write. I can't take notes like you can't like, put a sticky note and just keep reading unless you stop and write it down. But then you have to have a pen and paper, and if you've got your phone, you have to stop. Do whatever you're doing like if you're at work, you can't you just keep stopping at work and get on your phone all the time. So it's it's definitely harder listening to an audio book, trying to keep notes of what you got to do for when you're going to do a review. Or a couple, I've been smashing out some audio books. <laughs> I have to go free through them again to take notes. I don't know if there are like a note setting on audio or on Audible, whatever it's called. I might have to have a look at that. But if they haven't got a note setting, that would be good. Get a little note setting for audio, it's audible, so you can just like oh pause. Bang done. But then you could probably just open up Word or something. I don't know. It is something I find is a bit hard because you you go and you get it's, you're in when you're into the story that's being listened to. It's just going on. You think, oh, that's quite cool. That's quite cool. So that's going on, going on. And then and you're like, oh, I can't remember everything. And dramas. So little things I have to try and like re go over again to do a review. It's um, I don't know. It's alright, I suppose. Because I do listen to more audios than what I do read. That is why it's harder as well for me, because I'm usually like I definitely get two. I listen to two audios to read one book. Sometimes even three, depending, because some audios like six hours, six hours, two days. You know, if I'm when I was at work doing eight hour day, six hours, I can listen to a whole some audio book all in one day. So I don't get time to read that in a day. So that is definitely um yeah. So even I did get better at taking notes or have a pad. Or see if they actually have a note feature on Audible. I'll have to look into that. So for anyone thinks 
I'm getting too big from boots regarding my channel and the clans of my ambitions. I watched a YouTube channel called um, Space Docs, was, and they, um, I can't remember what it was, they announced they're doing Sojourn, an, an original sci fi short series or something. Like a, they got an animation going on, all that sort of stuff. And I thought it was really cool. Cool, I could do that. That'd be nice. I wouldn't mind doing sort of like doing that, sticking it on YouTube. Quite would be quite fun, like you know, get some people to do it, some voice actors and all that stuff. You know, for we, no, no, that's what expensive that is. I looked into it, like the price and and um, to get artists to do stuff. And when it's like, I can't remember. What, I don't know if there's just two D where it just sort of moves, or it's um three D. I don't know what it. It's not only three D. I don't know. Wait, wait. It looks really cool, by the way. You should check the channel out. They do a lot of ship breakdowns and stuff. That's why I got on there. I like the ships and whatever. So I thought that sort of killed it. Oh, I can't afford to do that. Cause some some of these um these guys they you know they want like six hundred dollars just to do like one piece. And that's it's quite expensive. Obviously for movie sets and games and stuff. You know money's nothing to them. But when it's someone like small like myself, just especially if you want to start off doing something, it's quite um quite expensive. But then I come across a channel called Dark Tree Audios, and they do, or he does, original sci-fi short audio stories. And all he has is just um, like a picture, like whatever picture's here. He'll have a picture, one voice actor just talking, maybe two voice actors. Some of them have got three or four, I think. But like, it's, they're good. Like, not all of his stuff on his channel is what I like. But the concept of it, of just having a single art drawing of whatever's going on, whether it's a planet, a ship, an action scene, like an action scene, or just like a lab, something like that, and then someone doing a voiceover, I thought it was quite good. I liked that idea, so I thought, hmm, I'll have a look into that, see if I can do that, afford it and stuff. So I've been looking into artists and that, and I have, I think for the last half a year, I've been talking to a few different artists, pricing and, and whatnot, and like, their styles and what they can do and flexibility and like um, times because a lot of them are really busy despite all this going that they're still busy and I have found one guy he's in America I like his style he seems interested in doing what I want to do so it's not too expensive so my plan is I think in July he's gonna start doing it. that's when we're gonna get going he's gonna do a single single drawing however long it takes him I don't know He's gonna do a single drawing, and then um, I've already written up a kind of a little script thing, nothing major. I'm gonna do like a little ten-minute video because my partner, she um, does amateur dramatics, and she teaches um, a drama class or something, something along those lines. So she's good at what she does, and she knows other people in that amateur dramatics who performing, doing drama stuff and all that stuff. <laughs> She'll kill me for just talking like this. It's all right. It's, it's all, you know, the acting. They're all good at what they do. It's not my sort of thing. So they might be able to do some voice acting for me. And, you know, whether I do it for free or pay them a pound or something, you know. Pound, maybe two pound. I don't know. <laughs> all my money's going on an artist. But that's, I'm going to do it. Because I've, since I've been 15, I've been, I've had this story in my head. And it's changed and evolved and whatever. And that's how I got into it was more. I got into games first. Like I like the action and the fighting games, shooting games, and all all of them sort of spacey ones. Typical ones like Halo, uh, Starcraft. They were the two big ones I played. I played a lot of the other ones. Um, Learn a little bit of history about me. I um, didn't start reading until seventeen or eighteen, I believe. I hated reading at school and all that stuff. Really, really struggled. My reading was. Diabolical, really. Dog poo, my reading was. My abilities, school failed me. Parents, they helped, they, I had tutors, they, they did everything for me. And the only reason why I could read at such a dismal level was because they helped me. But whatever way, 17, 18, started reading StarCraft book, I like playing the game. And then that was it, I fell in love reading. I never got shown sci fi books, just never got shown them. Whatever way, that's it. Read and read and read, never stopped. Had a few years on and off, on and off, children and life was hectic. Been bang on it for quite a while now. So, with that, I've always had, um, always been a dreamer about like this universe and war and politics and 
fighting, all different fighting, all over space and the different technologies and aliens and multiple species and aliens and all sorts of crazy stuff. And I want to, I've always wanted to like, I've always thought about like writing a book or seeing it on like an anime or a movie and what it'd look like if it was a game and all that sort of stuff. So when I saw what Space Doc done with Sojourn and Dark Tree Audio have done with all his things, it's possible really. So I'm going to do it. I'm doing it for myself. I want to do it because I want to bring what I've been had in my head since I was 15 onto life. I want to watch it. I think it's quite cool. So what I'm going to do, get a single art piece done. I don't want to steal other people's art, even though these I found on Google. <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> but for that, you know, I'm gonna get my own um my own art piece done up and design, pay someone to do it, get it done, all oh, self funded. Get my partner to do some audio, um, voicing. Maybe I'll voice it, probably not. My voice is her uh, horrendous. You hear my singing voice, sounds like a cat drowning and being choked at the same time. Really, really bad. <laughs> I'm gonna do that and what what I wanna do, I'm gonna keep it short. Five, ten minutes of talking, nothing, I don't want to bore people and stuff. They might not like my universe, but just sort of like building up like uh, the foundations of my universe, like maybe like scientists talking about a new discovery or news about something happening. Just a short, single character, maybe two characters, but single characters talking about something very short and small with an art piece so you've got an idea what's going on. Might like it, might not, I don't know. I'm doing this for me. Hopefully people like it. If they don't, I'm sorry. Because this will tie into the stories of my noggin. And like, I've been trying to write books and stuff. Not that, not to like publish or anything, because I've done a few books. I've wrote a few ma um, manuscripts. Drafts, first draft, I'm not gonna technical, I'm not, right, I'm not gonna talk technical words. Done a couple drafts, a few different stories. I am actually writing one now. But again, if these are just my little things I could do. And maybe one day, maybe next year, I might pay an editor and get it all done properly and edited and maybe stick something on. Um, but become an independent author as well. So in July, hopefully we'll start. Let's just say by the end of July, he does it. Probably take it, probably do it quicker, but we'll say by the end of July. I'll probably look at the beginning of July to start doing some voice acting. Give my partner pin her down and be like do some voicing <laughs> please come on so she'll do some voicing if I can get that wrapped up by August maybe I'll drop it by end of August mid August maybe I don't know that'd be quite nice I'll do a little update if, if it starts starts going ahead like I would like it to stick a little update video but I'm like, gonna do it so that's that we've got on that little thing so if you're interested in that perfect Hopefully it helped the channel grow. Hopefully you guys will like it. You're getting co new content out of me, you know. I'm making new content. I'm enjoying it. It's fun. What can I say, you know. I'm, I'm enjoying being a YouTuber. It's quite nice, really. I will keep doing some model videos as well. I'll drop them on like a Friday or something. I know there's a couple of people who have commented who like them. Dark Lord 6969 I've seen you comment on a few of my videos about the Halo ones and Battlestar Galactica ones. So you're cool. I like you. There's quite a few of actually who have been making doing some comments, and I do appreciate it. I will remember you. Give me a year's time, and I've gone from I might have 100 subscribers then. I'll still remember the first few people. So I do appreciate that. On the drawings, I have um, I've been trying to draw some tanks and some ships and stuff like that. No, I can't draw. Maybe, <laughs> maybe I'll the next Sunday video I'll put up. I won't. Or maybe, do you know what, I might even do it for this one. No, I won't do it. I'll do it for the Sunday one, because I've told you now. So the Sunday video, I'll have a picture up of my dismal attempt at drawing. It's more like a scribble. But I've, I've done some ships and some tanks and stuff for my story. And I'm at, I am trying, the same artist who's going to do the one for me, audio short story thing. He's going to possibly do some ships and, and make the ships look like <laughs> ships and not scribbles. So that'll be cool. Again, this is all for my little universe I'm building up and stuff. I've got a little map. Some I've got someone who designs maps. He's doing a map for me of like a, a planet. It's a one of the planets is a um, in my universe. They can they terraform planets, do all that stuff, all the sciencey stuff. But they're that advanced. How I don't know how. But they're that advanced that they can 
decide how continents look and islands and stuff. They can construct it. Everything's a planet. They'll have a hard ball rock, whatever it is. They can terraform it. A lot of stuff. They can decide, decide exactly how they want it to look. So I've got this planet which looks a certain way. And it's got like super cities and mega cities. They don't, you don't have towns and villages now. You have like just few major super, few super cities, a couple mega cities. Some cities you um, that's how you tra your transport goes to one city. Then you have like massive tourist cities, and then so you'd have a military base under one of the cities because that's what you do. You know what I mean? Can't go blowing up civilians hiding underneath. All part of the plan, isn't it? <laughs> um, imagine a massive city just completely all over the um, over the beach, over the sea, and it can just it looks like a Venice, like a well, yeah, like a Venice basically. It's, it's like like a, it's crazy. I don't know. I'm sort of rambling now about me, 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 me stories and stuff. I'm not very interested. But whatever way, ice quite cool. I like it. So I'm getting an actual pla a, a world map made up of it. I'm letting him have a lot of free reign because I so I did a little script. I'm like this, 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 this. These need to be here. And he guys go, what about roads and um, trains and all this stuff? And I said, <laughs> I'm like, well, I don't really use roads because it's all space travel. You know what I mean? There might be a few direct roads because people want to use roads and they, they would use train lines because it's easier just to stick, stick on a train and off it goes. It wouldn't be like a normal, like eventual train, like a futuristic train. So I said, you do it. Whatever's the most direct links and how you do it. This guy designs... Oh, I can hear a chicken. This guy desi designs maps is what he does. So let him have full reign of... Stick in whatever you want where it wants. Make it look realistic. Just have, I want these, these, these. These are what they do do it so it's gonna be interesting a lot of faith from having in this person so yeah we're gonna end it at that because i wasn't really planning on talking about my story i was just talking about the short audio the thing i want to do yeah so thank you for listening to me ramble on the late sunday hot sunday it's hot and dying this room's I'm dying in here so thank you i appreciate you listening i am growing still and if you guys are helping me everyone I appreciate it. Thank you again. Till the next video. Bye bye. Oh, it's so hot. Oh. I am a nick. The late posting hot Sunday, 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 Sunday video. <laughs> you learn a little bit of history about me. I started playing um, reading. You know, a little. You're going to learn. Oh, fucking hell. You're going to learn a little bit of history about me now. I've got to check. I've got to make sure this is still recording. It's not recording. I'll cry. Oh, it's still recording. Oh, look at me. Dismal. Could you imagine? Could you imagine it wasn't recording? I spent all this time yibby yabbing about rubbish. I'd have to go and re talk about all the rubbish I've been talking about.